This is Star Talk. Uh, Alex Herzdon. Nope. Nope. Herzon. Alex Herzon. Uh, wh- whatever. <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex Herzog wants to know this and says this. Hello, Dr. Tyson. Mm-hmm. Is there any time dilation on Tom, Mars? Dr. Neil to him. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, is there any time dilation on Mars? And if so, could it affect the age of people living there in comparison to the people on Earth? All right. Boom. So uh, you can get time dilation. This is from Relativity where mm-hmm. we learn there are two things that can make you live more slowly than others, and that's called time dilation. Mm-hmm. One of them is if you're moving fast relative to people looking at you. Mm-hmm. The uh, other is yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sorry. Y- yogurt actually doesn't slow you down. It just makes you live longer if, right. the, if the ads are correct. Correct. Right. Um, but th- the real question comes down to how long – does the passage of one second take, as observed by others who see you? Right. So if you're moving fast through space, your time will tick more slowly, as observed by others. And we know this from Einstein. It works. We duplicate this in particle accelerators. That's, that's not even a question. Right. All right. Now, gravity, high-level gravity also slows down your time. Mm-hmm. This was a major element of the movie uh, portrayed in the plot line of the movie Interstellar. Right. So Earth's surface has a higher gravity than Martian surface. So on Mars, you will live your seconds faster, slightly faster slightly than people faster. Li- living here on Earth. That's right. And so, uh, by the way, just to give you a sense of how strong this effect, how this effect can accumulate, mm-hmm. our, geo- our GPS satellites are orbiting like 500 miles up. They are farther away from Earth's surface from Earth center than we are. Okay. They're farther away. Okay. They're in a reduced gravity relative to us, which means their clocks tick faster than ours. Yet GPS has given you the correct time. We pre-correct GPS satellites for Einstein's general theory of relativity so that when it sends the time back to Earth, it has the correct time. Oh my God, I have such a new appreciation for my phone. <laughs> Because all I do is click it on to find out what time it is, and it's never wrong. I didn't know that much trouble went into finding out that it's 4.15 or 10.38 exactly. or 12.20. Exactly. So, yeah, so it's not a big effect. And if you go to Mars, this is, you shouldn't be distracted by this fact. Very if cool. Mars were a black hole, yeah, you'd have to you'd be, you'd do your calculation before you went. Right. Right, right. Cool. All right. There you go, man. Good. It was a black hole and you went to it. Uh, one year for you would could be 100 years on Earth. And- and you come back and everyone would have forgotten about you. So yeah, just, but the problem is, how do you come back from a black hole? Yeah, no, right, right. Uh, yeah, so, so forget it. <laughs> That's a one-way trip. <laughs> Chuck caught me on that mm, one. All right. I've been hanging out with you too long, no, man. I know, man. All right. This is Star Talk. Star Talk.